again guys and welcome to another episode of City Skylines with me, Pug Gaming. So I was having a, a think about what to do on this next episode and had a few things going across my mind but I was thinking a British golf course is pretty much the perfect setting for the environment we've already created here. So I decided to do it in this little gap just beside the farm area. It seems pretty well suited and it's a nice little area here to um, incorporate a full 18 hole golf course. So once they're all aligned it's more of a case of what to do next and most golf, golf courses these days do have some nice lakes certainly in the UK. Uh, so this was a bit of a troublesome time here to try and find the right levels to add the correct amount of water to ensure that we don't have a, a leaking situation but I, I managed to resolve it eventually. Next job now was the clubhouse. The clubhouse itself is probably a little bit too big for this area, um, but I still think it looks very nice. I'm not sure there's that many on the workshop, so I decided to stick with this one. Looks the most British as well. Um, next was the path edition, so I need to get some paths in to show the flow of the, the golf courses, and I had to work out a way to get underneath to the other side of the second tier of the golf courses, and I just decided to do a little tunnel in the end, just to just to get that across. So now the foundation is pretty much in for the golf course itself. It's now just, I think it worked out to be about two and a half, three hours worth of prop and tree dropping just to make this look more like a golf course and fill in the gaps. I'll give you a little time lapse view of this because it did take quite a long time and there's not too much to talk about other than a lot of tree placing. I'll speak to you in a minute. So guys, that probably only seemed like a few minutes to you, but that was a good solid two and a half hours worth. Uh, I tried to change things up a little bit, a few bushes around. Um, found some good combinations of bushes actually to, to make them look more like little hedges than what they look like individually. And I think it came out quite nicely. What I wanted to achieve next was a sort of focal point before you get to the actual course. So here's a little, I guess close to a lobby area for the, the golf course and obviously going left is where you start the golf on hole one and coming from the right is where you finish so I wanted to sort of give that sort of feeling of this is the, the focal point this is where the clubhouse is and just sort of bring something out here so I decided to go for a sort of a, a tree area here and I was going to put a wall around it just to make it a little bit, little bit more pretty um, and using the new prop tool uh, it really does help here. So much easier to use. The one I had previously was wasn't bad, but this one you can just pick on the actual assets you want to to use with it, as opposed to the last one was a bit more tricky to use. So this has definitely saved me a lot of time. I still don't tend to use it for the tree placement. I do prefer to do that freehand in some aspects. I don't mind using it to give the curves and the bends to make that look a little bit more appealing and realistic but when I'm coming to actually covering a large area I'll rub it from freehand just because trees aren't placed in parallel so this is around each other so it does make it a little bit more realistic in, in the approach I'm going. So this section is 
on its way. I wanted to put some lights around it as well. Um, I know on a golf course at night time you don't tend to see every part of it lit up, but I certainly feel that the area of the clubhouse um, should be lit up in some way. So I used the prop tool again um, to bring in some traditional lighting areas. Um, I mean, for example, in the UK, these clubhouses are used after hours of playing where the players just come for a drink or come for a meal and have a chat with their buddies. So I certainly wanted to give that some light just to make it seal, still seem alive. Um, found quite a lot of nice props actually on the workshop. Here's uh, a few golf bags I just wanted to put in. There's a lot of stuff on here, there's a lot of flags, etc. But all of my golf holes insert themselves have all that all there already. Uh, I think it's a ball ball cleaner probably should have been on the hole rather than the uh, the main lobby entrance but uh, never mind I did also find on the workshop some golf carts golf trolleys whatever you want to class them as um, and these are generally always on a, an 18 hole golf course um, I just wanted to have a few scattered around perhaps these couple in the corner here had just been finished was about to be used um, and I was also thinking of an area where we could put these to uh, work as a sort of car parking area I guess for these these truck trolleys um, I was going to put them on the bottom corner of the main entrance but uh, decided to put them in a line in the end against the main focal point of the, the golf course and I tell you what this this mod is amazing um, it saves me so much time it's a mod that every city skyliner designer should be having in their in their artillery um, I'll be honest, though, it did take me a little while to work out. It found me. It took me a little while to actually work out this menu area was here. Um, but once you get to grips with it, it does does save you a lot of time. It's a great asset to, to any uh, city skyline builder. So we're getting to the end now of the uh, of this golf course design. Uh, just adding the last few props here. As I say, I changed my mind a few times on these uh, golf trolleys. Um, but yeah, um, I wanted to find a few more assets to add in and I did manage to find a golf sign. So I decided to put a couple of these in here, one on the way into the entrance and one inside the actual golf course. And that pretty much finishes the this, this golf course. So as always, going to end this video and let you have an overview of the completed golf course. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the next episode of City Skylines.